Jumbo fellow adventurers, it's Mike Dooley. Time for a spiritual tune-up on this day of roller coasters. If you're into cryptocurrencies, oh my gosh. Um, all's going to be well. Uh, all is supremely well. So, today's question. Israel versus Palestine. Can you believe I'm going to go there? Well, I'm going to do so, I think, in the most gentle of ways. But I'm going to buck a mainstream assumption that will really perhaps have many of you scratching your head. But I'm not going to take sides. There's no need for that. Everyone's doing their absolute best, however to the contrary that may seem. First of all, sympathies for the loss of life, women, children, men, fathers, husbands. Um, sympathy for all of the unimaginable suffering that's happening because of this conflict. Um, I want to just cut straight to the chase and say that this message today is about the fact that violence is always wrong. Violence is always wrong. I don't care who, I don't care how, I don't care when. I don't care if it's physical, if it's emotional, if it's uh, psychological. Violence, and there's many forms, it's not just physical, violence against others is wrong. And this is the part that will be very difficult for many, 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 many um, to get your head around. Uh, your heart is open, your mind is open, you wouldn't be watching this. Uh, even in self-defense, violence is wrong. Now, the presumption in these primitive times is that, hey, if I'm just minding my own business walking down the street and someone throws a rock at me or pulls a gun on me, I have every right to respond. And in this day and age, during these extremely primitive times, spiritually speaking, I totally get your point. And if it happened to me, I would probably um, look to physically defend myself. But the presumption that random evil things could happen to any divine gladiator of love and joy, it does not compute. We are all streaming our manifestations right now. I'm streaming you, you're streaming me, we're streaming each other in this magical world, this continuum where there are agreed upon coordinate points and agreed upon past, which can change, agreed upon coordinates and other elements so that we can discover our power, ultimately realizing that what we think about, we bring about. And anybody of a violent mind, even if they hold the tenet that violence is acceptable as a form of self-defense, will find violence in their life and in their world ultimately. This is a non-starter. This is always the case. Now, does that mean every government and every person should lay down their arms? No, I'm not saying that. But if you want spiritual truth, the underlying premise that violence is sometimes okay will only bring you violence. It is never, ever, ever okay. Look at the bedlam. Look at the misery. It doesn't work. There's not a solution through violence. Might is right will prevail short term. And we see it sure enough. And then the victors write the, the history and they say it was just me and my glory defending my family. It was like it was a misunderstanding as we've been talking about for the past week in the nature of reality, not understanding truth, if you don't have a violent bone in your body, a violent cell, if you are all about peace, you would never be in a situation where seemingly random violent stuff happens. Does this mean anybody who is a victim is at fault? The word fault utterly fails in any spiritual conversation. It doesn't work. It's like victim. It's like blame. We're all co-creators. I know this is not easy to get your head around, and it might, you might never get around it. Maybe I'm wrong, okay? But I'm coming from a place where I know that our thoughts become things, that we're living our fantasy worlds out in the heart of God, in the palm of God's hand right now. Things are not as they appear to be. And if you don't like what's going on in the world, peacefully protest. If you don't like what one person does to another, peacefully protest. This doesn't mean that there aren't grades of violence. This doesn't mean um, that somebody might not 
throw the first rock, but it means anybody in the mix believed in a world where violence can happen to them. And by changing that belief, you will no longer be in that mix. But if you all of a sudden found a rock hurled at you, take recourse, press charges, file a protest, uh, boycott, do all the things that you can do peacefully as we extract ourselves from these primitive times where we believe life is happening to us and I'm just an innocent bystander and it's not what you make of it, it's how you take it. Everything is how you make it. So fellow adventurers, uh, I, it's not the answer you were looking for, I'm sure, but for, for many, I trust uh, it might spark some new thinking. Uh, this does not justify ugly things happening. Uh, this does not explain the entire gamut. Earlier, as I've shared in other tune-ups, I speak about blame the victim mentality. I explain uh, how there's no such thing as uh, you know, faults and, and the like. Uh, I talk about children um, who experience stuff that clearly they did not think about in this incarnation. So there's 250 other spiritual tune-ups that will fill in the gaps if they need to be filled in. But you're a divine creator. You're living in a beautiful world. There's love still absolutely everywhere. And at this point forward, we all celebrated and insisted upon peace no matter what. Then peace is what we would have. It's the only way there. Everyone will always have a legitimate argument against their enemy. Always. And if legitimate arguments were a cause for a, a just cause for violence, the violence will never end. All right, fellow adventurers, thanks so much. I know that this is a doozy. I, I wish you all well in the in the Middle East and around the world. Uh, Nelson, Winnie, thank you for being here. Kathy, Casey, um, Impactful, Betsy, yes. 20 beautiful dreams. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Please post your questions below and I'll get to them as my talking point maybe this week. And if you're interested in my Train the Trainer Infinite Possibilities Certification Program so that you can have the vocabulary and the ideas to empower other people who have not yet been reached with the truth, click the link below this video. Many of you are asking, how do I find out about it? Click the link below the video, okay? Or swipe up in my bio on Instagram. Hasta pronto. Te amo. Besos.